Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Ultima 7 to the sky, and yes, the island has gotten another revamp in between episodes. I uh, I, I just really like this mineral wood that we uh, set up in the last episode to begin working with integrated dynamics. And well, I went ahead and replaced all the spruce logs that I had placed all around with this mineral log. But not only that, I started I started making this wall over here and I just started expanding it. And I really, really like how it looks. Let me know what you think down below in the comments, but I think this suits the island very well. I also went ahead and expanded the island over here in a nice open area because I'm thinking this could potentially be our dimension area where we have portals and things to go to other dimensions. I think that would be suited here. But we got other great news as well. While I have been building this and busy doing that, the Civ has been busy generating a lot of items, but not only that, we now have 35 diamonds and also 60 emeralds, which means we can take six of these, we can grab this diamond mesh and we can go ahead and upgrade it to an emerald mesh right off the bat here, just like so. And we can put that in here and that should now give us a higher percentage chance of getting some other items as well. Well, not other items, but things in general. Because if we go in here with the diamond mesh, we have a 1.6% chance, drop chance, and one and a um, what, blah, 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 0.8% drop chance of the diamond. But with the emerald mesh, that is apparently the same. Hmm. What about iron then? If we got iron, that is 15, 25, and 10. 15 and 10. 15, 25, and 10. Hmm. I don't know what changes then. 5, 10, 5, 10. It seems to be the same, maybe it's just, uh, it can't be the speed. I really want to know what is actually changing here from getting the upgrade. It's even the same for the redstone dust and things like the gunpowder. Oh well, in general, it's very nice to have it upgraded to the emerald, even though I don't exactly know what it does. We have also been smelting a lot of items here in the golden furnace here, which I'm really happy with. Oh, we need to get those out and go ahead and put those in there. Perfect. But today I want to sort out our storage because this is my storage so far and it is a gigantic mess. And in the last episode, I did say that we would get started with integrated dynamics, which is exactly what we're going to jump into right now because I have prepared for this. These are all the items that we need to get. Well, we do already have the squeezer and we do also have the drying uh, basin. Basin or bin? Basin right here. Yeah, I've been doing this a little bit in between episodes as well, getting even more of this, uh, what's this called, crystallized mineral. But I can actually go ahead and re reset this and I think I can pick this up now because it will be needed in another recipe in just a moment here. Boom, there we go and pick this up as well. And we're gonna take the button, of course. And by the way, these torches, yes, they, they are there for a reason, which we may get into later if we get the time. Now, I was actually planning on making the mechanical squeezer, which is basically like this squeezer, but it's mechanical and uses RF in order to run. However, I don't think we actually need it because as soon as we have this setup going, we should be good to go. I already have 48 crystallized mineral uh, chunks and I also have plenty of this um, block of crystallized mineral, so I don't think we actually need to make that, which is going to take a lot of uh, effort away from what we need to do here. What we really need to focus on are the logic cables, which are of course very easy, but also the storage terminal, which is here comes the, well, not difficult, but tricky part. We need an output variable uh, transformer, but also an input variable. And for the input, we need a sticky piston. And so I was wondering how on earth to get Slime. Now there are a few different ways, but the easiest way is actually to go ahead and grab, I believe, two emeralds and we need to go over to this guy in the market and we need to search for slimy seeds. I need to get one of those and then I think I need, uh, what do I need? I think I need some sort of sapling. I think the green heart sapling, if I'm not mistaken. We have emeralds. We can, we can, uh, we can, <laughs> we can, we can afford it. And I should have some bone meal somewhere around here, maybe potentially, maybe not. There we go, bone meal. So if I just quickly get rid of this tree here, boom, and look at that, we get some more 
crystallized mineral right there. But I think what I do is I place that so we get earth slime grass and then we get the green heart sapling from Tigger's cotton stock and we grow this. Yep, this is the right tree and then we can mine this and we should get Okay, so we get a bunch of saplings, so I did it wrong. <laughs> we grow this, but then we go ahead and mine the leaves, I'm pretty sure. And there we go, we got slime bowl. So we don't get a whole lot. I guess the chance of it dropping a slime bowl is pretty low, but there we go. We got what we needed, and I can now place my mineral saplings back. And these mineral... Oh, oh boy. Okay, this, this is gonna take a while. And boom. Oh, and I don't even get it back. Oh, come on now. Oh, yeah, I also set up another strainer in the uh, in this farm plot. But there we go. I can put my mineral sapling back. And as I was saying, I have really been enjoying these berries. It has completely taken away the need for my wheat farm. So that is always uh, nice. So we can put this back. And now we should be able to make the things that we need. So first off, for the setup that I want to make, we need eight of these item interfaces. So for that, we are going to be needing... Uh, four, two chests, two chests because I want eight of these. I'll show you how we actually set this entire thing up in just a moment as soon as we have all the items. Next, we then need some logic cables, and for that, I just need a little bit of redstone. This should be more than enough. Logic cables, and doesn't really matter which one of these we take. I'll need nine for this recipe, no need to make more than we absolutely need, and then. We need the storage terminal, which is the most important part. Uh, we also need, for that, we need then a display panel, which for that we need a static light panel, and for that we need some output uh, transformer. So I need to craft a few pistons here. There we go, four pistons should do the trick. So I'm going to make, well, first of all, I'm gonna have to make a sticky pit. Where did I put the slime ball? <laughs> did I really leave it back here in the barrel? Yep, I did. I uh, I know exactly what I'm doing, guys. Don't worry about it. There we go. Sticky piston, and we can now make... Oh, yeah, we need these variable cards as well, and for that we need paper, which... Okay, that is a lot taller than it usually is. That has to be a modded thing. But anyways, we need a little bit of paper, which is perfect for this sugar cane. So for this, we can do this. I think 24 should be more than enough. And we can go ahead and make four of these input variable transformers and also four of these output ones. And we should hopefully have everything that we need, other than the redstone, of course, that is typical. So there we go, that should be all of it. We can take this back. We need two of these static light panels. And then we need, for the display panel, we need this. And it actually utilizes some of these berries, but of course I already have some because I am eating them. Oh yeah, we need mineral glass. So in order to make this mineral glass, we need a little bit of glass, if you couldn't guess it. So we're gonna put the string basin over here. We're gonna take some glass and put it in there. And we will actually need the squeezer. Probably facing the other way, I assume. Actually, let's see if this works. It might not, but we will find out in just a moment. So I think this actually has to be pointing into that, but we'll see. If I jump on this, Oh yeah, it's actually there, so we need do need to move this over, and we place the glass in. We can now pick this up, and in a moment, that will solidify there on the left, and we should get mineral glass in any... Yep, any day now, there we go. Mineral glass, perfect. That was very easy. Uh, storage terminal, and of course now I need glowstone. Do I, have a, I do have glowstone, look at that, perfect. Calculated, prepared, and everything. Storage terminal and we now have everything that we need for this to work and let me show you How this actually works. We don't need any of this anymore So if I have these two chests are perfect for the job Let's place these chests right here and If I then place an item interface right there This is what is going to be talking with the chest if that makes sense and this logic cable is then what is going to be connecting the chests together so let's say I then put this and then a storage terminal right there. Now the storage terminal is connected to these two chests and through it I will then now be able to talk to these chests. So I can put stuff in there and there you can see it has been added to the chest inventory and I can go ahead and take things out. I can scroll things, I can do all of that stuff. Uh, there's some channel stuff. I don't know everything about it, but I know the basics here. We can also go ahead and watch the crafty t terminal here, and we can also search as well. So let's say I put my ore hammer in here. If I search ore, 
Well, there it is. It comes up. So that is really, really cool. I think we can do maybe upgrades and stuff. Uh, J JEI search sync. That is really cool. So if I search for iron, I search for in both the JEI, but also in here, which is awesome. Auto refill crafting grid. Yes, please. Crafting filter filtered by stored or craftable materials. That's fine. Item amount, item ID and item name. We can also just click on the storage icon, but I think I will want the crafting uh, thing up here. But this is essentially it. Now, of course, we don't want it just being like this. So I'm going to tear this back down. I wonder if there's a like a wrench or something from integrated dynamics. Is there integr int integrate? Eh? What, what's going on here? Into am I doing this wrong? No. I'm so confused. <laughs> no, no, I forgot the, I forgot the thing. Uh, anyway, oh, we do have a wrench. Ooh, let's for sure make that. That's probably going to make life a whole lot easier. Let's go and make that right away. Just need a few of these crystal crystallized mineral shots here. There we go. I assume I then can just go and yep. Hold down shift and it just pops right off. Would you look at that? Perfect. Now, as you saw, we can connect directly to the chest, but I don't want to do exactly that. Well, what I mean to say is I don't want to just connect to my normal chest. I want to make some upgraded chests, which is why I have smelted a bunch of resources here, because we could go ahead and make upgraded chests. Uh, so this is a double chest that you surrounded with eight copper. And then if we place that, you can see that we now have an extra row of storage, which is awesome. But we can now take this and we can upgrade it all the way to what can we upgrade it to? Iron chest. So let's search here. We can upgrade it all the way to diamond chest. We could get dirt chest, which I can actually see the, the recipe for. We can make an obsidian chest, which I think is maybe the highest here. Nope, never mind. We got there. We got a netherite chest as well. So I don't know what the obsidian chest actually does. But as you can see, we could get pretty high. So if I go ahead and surround the copper chest with iron and place that, boom, we now have three rows. And we can actually go ahead and upgrade this even further to gold. Just like so. And the gold chest is then even bigger. Now, question is, what is the next tier? The next tier would be diamond. And we have eight chests that needs upgrading. So that's eight. So that's 16 diamonds. You know what? We can afford it. We can afford it. We're getting diamonds in a pretty fast uh, rate here. So I'm not too scared of doing this. And now we got a diamond chest, which is ginormous. This should suit us for now. However, we are able to make a crystal chest, but also an obsidian chest. But I don't think we're going to go that far just yet. So what I can now go ahead and do. Yes, I do have everything on me. I just wanted to check. I think I want, uh, where do I want my storage to be? Right here? I have this space reserved for something else that I, like I said earlier, we might want to make later in the episode. I could repurpose one of these spots as well, but eh, mm, it, it's just not gonna be very symmetric now, is it? Now mind, it will be symmetric. So let's go ahead and move the bed for right now. And we can actually move these chests over to one side here. Yep, everything is gonna make, be mixed together, but that's fine. It's going to be that anyway in just a moment. So place all of these chests over here and we're gonna place this thing right in the center. So we're gonna take these diamond chests here. Oh, that thing is off, that's why. Hmm, what's that? Hmm. Oh well, let's place it right here. It's gonna be fine. Let's place all the, wow, it's bright. Yikes, that's bright. Let's place it there. And then what we're gonna do, ah, I actually need another logic cable now that I see this. So let's go ahead and make that just like that. There we go. Now we should have enough. Because then what I can do is I just put, what do I, there we go. Put this on all the chests like so. Then we connect them all like so. Put one in the middle there and then Put one out like so. Binary virtual engine has made the advanced with networks for logic build and logic network system with at least 10 connected logic cables. Nice. And then we can place that storage terminal right there in the middle and we have plenty of room. And now I can just go ahead and start, well, using it. 
and I can of course reset this. Um, this should be enabled and yeah, there we go. I can now go ahead and just put everything that I don't need in here. Uh, don't know why it's not going in. It should be going in. Maybe I need to click on it specifically. Otherwise it might bug out a little bit. There we go. Yep. Just can't do it too fast. That's fine. But this is going to be really, really awesome. Yeah, so what I was doing was I was holding down shift and then I held down my left button to just try and drag everything in. But you can't actually do that. You need to click each and every item, which is fine, in just like this. And then it goes in no problem at all. And these are then the final items to be added and boom. We have used 2,699 items out of the 36,864 item slots that we have available. And go ahead and clear that filter right there. And oh, guess what? I need to search for, what do I need to search for? I need some cobblestone because I accidentally took mine out. I also need some mineral wood, I think. Yep, always nice to have that on me and sticks. Because, yep, I like to have my sticks in my inventory just like so. This is amazing. I guess maybe I should build it into the wall or something. Maybe build a structure around it. Hmm. Well, actually, if we go here, mineral. I only have 12 mineral logs. But, I mean, that's better than nothing. Maybe I can do a little bit of decoration here. Just a tiny bit. Yeah, you know what? That's not too bad. That I'll somehow connect it over maybe or something like that. Maybe I'll move it uh, back one or something. Yeah, that's not too bad. I think for now, though, I'll just keep it like this. But I'll probably decorate it in between uh, episodes here. And say goodbye to the old system. The old system can then be added to the new system. Awesome. Now, where do I place my bed? I suppose... Eh, yeah, that's a bit in the way. And... Yeah, that works. Now, looking at this, I actually think I want to upgrade this chest right here. This chest is fine, this chest is fine. But the chest that is receiving the output from the sieve, I think, is a bit problematic. We have maxed out with iron, and I don't know if it's then actually going to be able to give us iron if it's maxed out. So, I want to make sure that we have enough space to receive Items because I think it's just going to go to waste otherwise yes yeah. so let us go ahead and make some more upgraded chests for those I should well I know I have some chests actually so if I go and take those and then steal a little bit of copper and gold and iron and maybe some diamonds as well should do the trick which will look at that perfect two copper chests I can then go ahead and make those into iron same thing as before, basically. And that would go two diamond chests. Right. Oh, they don't actually connect. Ooh. Well, it should still. Yep. Yeah. One diamond chest is still four times as large. Well, twice as large as a double chest. So that should be um, fine, I suppose. I was kind of hoping they would actually mix. But oh well. We got an extra diamond chest for, I guess, something in the future. Yeah, because now, see, we're getting more iron pieces as well. So it's a it's very important, apparently, to have the to make sure the chest underneath the sieve actually have some space to do its work. Um, but yeah, that's good. Speaking of sieve, I wanted to make two more gold upgrades so that we can actually go ahead and make a diamond upgrade, which is really going to speed up the saving process. I don't even know if the chest or anything like that is actually going to keep up, but uh, I. Guess we're gonna find out. I have been cooking some more terracotta, and with that, I should now. Well, first of all, I need. Oh yeah, I can just use this, which turns into cyan dye, which then goes ahead and makes cyan terracotta. Perfect. Now I just need to cook up some sand to get some more glass, and while that is cooking, of course, I'm going to need two emeralds to pay for some cactus, two cacti right there. And I'm gonna go and take that out and cook that in there because this thing is way faster. And just like that, we got another gold upgrade. So now if I take this gold upgrade out, 
And then I need to sacrifice six diamonds for this. This could be a waste, but I mean, we got infinite resources at this point. Diamond upgrade. So we go from two items being processed at once to 16. It is going to use a lot more power, 16 RF per tick, but now uses 512. Wait, hold on. <laughs> um, we are not even supplying that much power, are we? Um, no. 512 RF per tick. Hold on, I don't think we can even... I don't think we can do that because each machine or each Magmatic Dynamo outpower, outputs 40, so that's 40, 80, 120, yeah. Um, I didn't realize that. We can't upgrade this thing just yet, unfortunately, but I mean, I guess for now, uh, we know when you, we can do it, right? We, we know we can, it can be done when we have way more power being outputted. <laughs> And we also have some quests which are completed, or it may just be one, which is the emeralds uh, mesh right here. Anything else? No. Okay, that's good. Now, for the system that I wanted to set up here, it shouldn't be too difficult or complicated. It is going to draw more power, but I think in the next episode we will be focusing, I think, on maybe mechanism and getting a windmill or something like that going because we really do need more power, maybe some solar generator or something. I don't know yet, um, but we do need to start, we do need to look into getting more power soon. Um, but I want to set up another server over here. And the reason why I want to get that going is because to get redstone, we need to sieve dust. So I want to get a sieve, just sieving dust essentially. Which shouldn't be too complicated to, to set up, so yeah, we should just get to it. So, I need another couple. Let's make a list first of all. We need a cobblestone generator. Just here one is fine. Then we need to pulverize a cobblestone into gravel. So that's one pulverizer at least. We're going to need, I think, three. Because pulverize cobblestone to gravel, and then from gravel to sand, and then from sand to dust, which then needs to be left into the sieve. If I could spell, that would be amazing as well. <laughs> Which then outputs the redstone and whatnot into, I suppose, a diamond chest. Since we got one extra, we might as well use it, right? Oh, that, there we go. So yeah, I want to set that over here. I think a uh, cobblestone generator, then pulverizer, 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 which is, by the way, going to use quite a bit of power. Um, and then sieve and then a chest. Well, sieve and then chest right here. So I guess we could place that right there. Yeah, so I think... That should be next. It shouldn't be too complicated to set up. All right, so first of all, cobblestone generator tier one is done. So that's already done. Now I need to focus on, oh, I didn't want to remove it. I then need to focus on the pulverizers, which of course are going to take a little bit more than just getting some buckets of lava. I should now have everything to make the four, so sorry, three pulverizers. That is three machine frames. I also need, oh yeah, three pistons, three pistons, there we go, three redstone, that should do the trick. One, two, three, there we go, that's the machine frame, redstone flux coil. I also have the copper gear, so I should be able to now make three. Yes, success. Very, very, very good. Can place the remaining ironing gears in here. And now this is really going to take a toll on our power supply here. It looks like we're already using more than we can actually produce. Oh dear. Is this thing still filling up? Nope. Okay. Place these down. These are now going to start getting power. Yep, this is gonna go down very fast. Now I'm gonna reset the cable here. Play uh oh yeah. I need to configure this to output on the right, input on the left, auto input and auto output. Auto, input, auto, output, output on the right, input on the left, input on the uh, left, output on the right, auto, input, auto, output, and that should do it. So this is not supposed to happen. Why is this getting cobblestone? Okay, so this is now getting gravel. Okay, so this is, oh, hold on, we're getting sand from this as a byproduct. Ooh, that could be a problem. Uh, is this not set to... Yes, this is then getting sand, and of course this will need a mesh, but we should get dust, which is then being put. Oh yeah, need to set this up, but there we go. <laughs> yes, we are now getting dust in there. All I need to do 
is get a mesh, of course. Um, mesh. We don't have a mesh. We have a mesh now. Now I just gotta make it into a flint mesh. Then I need some iron to make it into an iron mesh. We want the highest one we can possibly get here. And then, of course, we want the diamond one, which is going to be another six diamonds. But, again, we got it. And there we go, diamond mesh. I'm not going to go in and make the emerald one. I'm not sure what exactly it does. If you know what the emerald mesh does, let me know down below in the comments. But this should now be generating us, potentially. Oh, we need an upgrade. Oh, you know what? Something good actually came out of making these gold upgrades. Because we can now put one right in there. Beautiful. And we should now hopefully be getting a very good supply of redstone. As soon as this thing speeds up, of course. Uh, yeah, this is good. Again, though, it is taking a toll on our power generation. Ideally, I could probably just put another magmatic dynamo up on this thing. Hmm. I pro... You know what? I'm gonna... Hmm. Let me calculate how much power we are actually... Well, I can't really because the flux are upgraded and whatnot. Um, let me try and make another magmatic dynamo. I still want to upgrade our power generation in the next episode, but for now, just so I can keep things running in between here, this should be maybe good enough, potentially. We'll find out. <laughs> All right, here we go. Another magmatic dynamo. All I need now is another energy cable and potentially yes also no fluid i need a fluid pipe so if i place it here place this here and place this on there question is if it's going to start building up or not oh it is it is building up and all the machines are actually on on I'm, I'm surprised. <laughs> so we're now generating 40, 80, 160 RF per tick. And apparently that is enough to supply all of our demands. At least for now anyway. Okay, the furnace is not running. This polarizer is not running. But again, for now, until we get to the next episode, this should be running just fine. For now anyway. Very, very good stuff. And look at that. We're getting redstone sieved through just like so. This is awesome. Guys, with that, I'm going to call this an episode. I really hope you have enjoyed this one. If you did, be sure to leave it a like, support the channel a lot. And if you're new, do consider hitting that subscribe button to not miss any of the future videos here. But yeah, like I said, that's going to be it for this one. In the next episode, I really want to get into mechanism, I think. Uh, getting into some more power generation. Make it some more... Uh, maple thermal thermal expansion, maybe. Uh, I'm not sure. I think there are other ways of like there are other dynamos we can make with thermal uh, the thermal series, but I think mechan mechanism is going to be the way to go here. They also have like huge generators and stuff like that we can make down the road. So yeah, mechanism is probably it. But like I said, that's gonna be it for this one. I really hope you have enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, and until next time. Goodbye.